That's a big bear. I hope it's just a flashy candle. 24 ounce or 16 ounce? 12. <laughs> 12 ounce. 12 ounce can. Yeah. All right. Is it working? Yeah. Okay, sweet. All righty. Here's your baby. You see, kneeling like in a crib. You see uh -huh. the butt right there? So head there, butt there. Just like in a crib position. This is the baby's spine, nice and even like a railroad track at the base of the skull where the brain stems at. And then we can follow that all the way down to the lumbar end, and you'll see where it comes together into a little point at the end. That's a normal spine or no spine of bifida. Bifida baby's open into a Y shape instead of closed. So, it's just a beautiful so there is spine. a brain. There, well, we haven't got the brain yet. There's a spine. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Now, nice the family. There you go. <laughs> now here comes the brain anatomy. This is looking down on top of the baby's head. So the white line is where the skull is, whose baby just doesn't want to turn that head all the way. So I'm gonna so, excuse me, pardon me. It's like, you have no control over me, lady. <laughs> so true. Does that run in the family? Stubborn? Oh, yeah. I would like to hear that. <laughs> Come on. You just have to get the top of the head, and baby just wants to give me the back of the head. Look at him. So or we she. will come back to that when we want to be a little more cooperative. Come on. Oh, cool. <laughs> there we go. There we go. White line divides the skull. These little black half moons are ventricles called thalami. This part of the brain is the cerebellum, which is our balance control. Shape of the head is normal. We look for unusual cranial shape like clover leaf skulls, things like that. You don't have it, don't want it. It turns millimeters into weeks, comes out 20 weeks and two days for that measurement. And then, oops. And then we get one around the outside head. It takes two for the head measurement. And all measurements are plus or minus a week. So it's just perfect because you should be 19 and 5. And that one is 19 weeks and 40. So beautiful. Then we're going to look at a part of the brain that's called the cerebellum. And it kind of looks like a little pair of black goggles. It goes from here to here. And the goggles should be less than 3. And yours is 2.08. So that's normal. Um, a banana is a sign for down. So it should look just like that. So it's good. This is baby's little arm and a hand coming up here, arm and a hand with the face. Do you see like the alien face looking mm. at it? <laughs> <laughs> see, like baby X-Files. Mm. Oh. It's hard to be, a, it, it's a smiling little alien. <laughs> <laughs> Happy little camper in there. And then this black circle is your baby's stomach right here. Uh -huh. And this one's your baby's bladder. Stomach means your child can swallow the amniotic fluid. And then the bladder means that the kidneys are working. So they drink and urinate so often, we should always be able to catch those being black. So that's a good sign that the whole system functions. And your child is decided to moon me now. So this is the tailbone, these three dots. And there's just a little darker gray here and a little darker gray here. Those are fetal kidneys. And kidneys are about the size of a pea right now. So they're just really <coughs> subtle and small, but your baby has both of them. And we don't like them dilated. If they're dilated, they turn black. So your child's mooning. You see the butt up in there, trying to do a headstand. <laughs> <laughs> And then here's a legs coming out. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Leg and a leg. That's a hand in between. I, see something in I don't know what's a hand. I can't tell if it's a thumb or a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Got our hands in our crotch right now. Both of them. You ready to know? Uh -huh. It's a boy part. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> see, it does start in your girl. He's playing. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, hey, hey. Who's crying? See what he's got his fingers there. Do you see what he's got? his little hand. They're like, stop with the boy parts. Awesome. All right. Well, this is baby's thigh bone or femur length. And femur is the longest bone in the body, so we don't like to have short, long bones. If that bone is appropriate, all the bones are normal, and it comes out to be 20 weeks even. So beautiful. Wow. So it rules out dwarfism, it rules out skeletal dysplasias, a soft marker for Down syndrome is short and long bone. See, it's just like set crib position. Is that the heartbeat? Or? Yeah, do you see it being <coughs> mm -hmm. So we're gonna go for that next here, and that is a um, four chamber heart, and you'll see the cross, it looks like little butterfly wings opening and closing. And this divides the heart right to left, and then that's mitral and tricuspid valve, and gives you two atriums, two ventricles. It rules out about 70% of all cardiac anomalies, so that's a beautiful thing. And we will listen to it, so I'm just going to go this way. OK. 
Okay, just gonna put the damper on. Get some sound going. Nice and fast and steady. I'll tell you what the rhythm is. 120 to 160 is appropriate. And you are at 146. It's right in the middle. Don't like over 200 or under 90. <laughs> and then this is the uh, aorta. You'll see this little black river that pulsates right here. That takes the blood out of the heart and feeds it to the organs. So aortic arch. Maybe it looks great. Do you see the leg kneeling? Yeah. <laughs> Ready to jump off at any given yeah, moment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do tricks? You got a whole audience here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I could put my hand on my head and this hope that you oh. go away. <laughs> oh, that the pushy woman leaves me alone. Come on, flash the boy parts for everybody. There they are. Right there. Really embarrassing by 30 weeks when your child's three and a half pounds. Now we can embarrass them. <laughs> <laughs> right now they're harder to believe. This is the placenta across the top wall, and this is right where the umbilical cord comes out. But your placenta looks great. That's a perfect location. It's not near your cervix, <coughs> and it should look just like snow. No baseballs and no Swiss cheese, so that's just perfect. All the black uh, is the amniotic fluid that the baby swims around in. And then we're going to get the umbilical cord on a cross section. Cord's just really skinny today. Everything grows with the baby. But do you see kind of there's like a little black and a little black and a bigger one? That's artery, artery, vein. When I show you at 30 weeks, that's a big fat cord and easier to look at too. You don't get the whole baby on screen next time, but you can see like their face. You can um, look up their nose, see their lips, if they have fat <laughs> cheeks, hair on their head. <laughs> right now they just don't have all that. It's like turned away from the camera. It's like a little ear right there. Pay up. He looks happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. This is his fingertips and his boy parts again. He's like, what did we talk about? <laughs> no more touching that. Hello. That's funny. Oh, yeah, look at me. He's like, God, God. I'm not oh, wearing pink. <laughs> I'm going to show you numerous times. It's okay. Purple's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby looks really healthy. I'll show you the cock box. Okay, I'm done. 